So hey everyone, welcome on Devish Tech. In the last video, we added the recording feature on our WhatsApp clone UI. In this video, our main motto is working on these two things, the flash button and the flipping camera button. Like when I will click here at the end of this video, when you click here, then the flash will be on. And when you again click here, then the flash will be off. Same thing, we are going to work on the this flip camera button as well. So when you click on the flip camera button, then the camera will be flipped and you can see your front camera. If again you will flip the camera, then you can see the your rear camera. Like if you see here, when you click here, then automatically this uh, camera icon will be rotated to the 180 degree. Just see, it is rotated to the 180 degree. And again, you will click then it is automatically rotated to the original position. So we are going to work on these two things on the uh, flash button and the flip camera button on this video. So please watch the video till the last and don't forget to like, share the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I really need your support. Please hit the like button, share the video and subscribe the channel. And let's start the coding. So to start the coding first Thing we have to do is we have to upgrade this camera plugin version from 0.5 to the 0.7 which is the latest version because in this version we don't have any option that will control the flash so if i will go on a flutter pub dev then you will find that we have a latest camera plugin version which is a 0.7.0 so let me copy the this version and we have to make changes because some of the thing is deprecated due to the new version upgrading okay so to control the flash we need a new waste version of the camera plugin so i'm just upgrading the camera plugin from 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 and i will help you that how you can migrate your camera plugin as well so after adding that thing you have to hit the control s and flutter pub kit will start and you are camera plugin will be upgraded so after upgrading the camera plugin i have to go on a camera screen so if you come on a camera screen then you will find that we are getting an error on a take picture method that this is not taking the path because what happened in 0.7 version like uh, in the 0.5 version of the camera plugin first thing we had to do is we had to specify the path where we wanted to store the image but what the camera plugin we did that instead of providing the path manually by us the camera plugin itself handle the path handling like uh, this method will take the picture and store the picture on the specific path and it will return the path as well like uh, they provided a new format called x file this is the format of the path so this camera controller dot take picture will return you the path where it stored the image after clicking the photo so we don't have to handle the path manually by us the path it the path thing can be handled by the camera controller only so we just have to create a x file type of data type where we will get the path so this is the new feature added by the camera plugin which is very really good because we have to manually add the path then after adding the path we have to provide the path where we wanted to store the image but this thing is handled by the uh, camera controller only so we don't need to bother about the creating the path and all so it will gonna return a path so here we have to provide the path on our camera view page so just uh, so what we have to do that so here you just write the path dot path because this is a x file type an x file type have a parameter called dot path so path is the variable name and it have a one additional parameter called dot path will be written the path where the image is stored so now the error is gone from this side we also have error here as well on a start video recording so as we don't need a path while taking a picture similarly we don't need a path while recording the video so we don't need this code as well and we don't have to provide the path over here there is one change that when you start the recording at that time the camera controller will not return the path okay so also we have to remove that thing because we don't need a video path here 
so you will not get a part after just starting the video recording you will get the part when you stop the video recording that is a very good feature now we don't have to handle the video path set stage thing because we will get the video path here itself so let me create a new file called x file that will be a video path okay so it's a capital f so it will going to return a video path here only okay so when we stop the video recording then only it will return the video path so that's a good because we don't manage to uh, state of the video path and here the video part dot path will be the actual part where the video is stored now you will find that the error is gone from this file and i can hit the save so when i will hit the save then you will find that some of the changes over here that the camera controller is not a subtype of camera controller so let me just restart the app or sometimes it may happen so what you have to do that you have to just stop the app sometimes it may happen so let me stop the app and run the app again and the issue will be gone okay so i'm pausing the video till the app is restarted so the app is restarted and if i will go on a camera tab then we don't have any issue so what uh, we are uh, seeing here that we are getting some space so what we have to do that we just have to wrap the camera preview to a container and provide the container height in width okay so width of the container will be media query dot of context dot size dot width Similarly, we have to provide the height of the container where we are using the camera preview. So let me change it to the height and let me hit the save, then the issue will be gone. Now everything will work fine. Now we can start the working on this flash thing. So if I will go on a button where we added the flash, so where we have the flash button, here we have the flash button. So here itself we can handle the flash. So when we click on a flash then the flash off will be converted on a flash on icon so for that first thing we have to create is first thing is we don't need this video part variable we can create a new variable called flash itself that will be a false because at the beginning the flash will be off so if i will go on a flash off here so i can handle this icon using that flash variable which we created so how we can handle it we can handle it using the so if the flash variable is true then only so the icons dot flash on so otherwise so the icons dot flash off so here we have to choose the icons dot flash on okay and hit the save then if i will click here then the icon will be flash off and flash on similarly we have to handle the actual flash on and flash off so in a set state i mean in on press just after the set state with help of the flash variable like if the flash is on then i have to use the camera controller dot uh, set flash mode and we have to provide the flash mode the flash mode dot torch if the flash is on and uh, otherwise we have to use the camera controller again and uh, this time if the flash is false then we have to use the flash mode dot off okay now let's test it so if i will hit the save and if i will click on a flash then the flash is on you can see that you can see the okay and if i will again click here then flash will be off okay so this thing is completed the next thing we have to work on the flipping the camera so let me go on a flip camera button so here we have the flip camera button 
so for the flipping the camera again we have to manage uh, one additional thing like uh, so first thing we will do is here we have the code for setting the camera I mean which camera we wanted to use at the first like we are using the first camera now we have to flip the camera with help of this code only so what I will do that I'm going to just copy the whole code okay and I will go here on a flip camera method it will be a sync and await type again so here I am going to paste the code and instead of the providing the zero what I'm going to do that I'm going to create a new variable that will be a bool type again bool camera pause okay that will be a false or else is camera front so at the beginning it will be a true okay because we are using the front camera so here itself in the icon button what I'm going to do that uh, I'm going to create a new variable called in the camera position because we have to provide the integer value over here not boolean value so camera pose will be the variable name so camera pose will be I mean the camera pose we will handle using the is camera front so is camera front is true which mean the value of the camera pose will be zero otherwise the value of the camera pose will be one okay so let me see why we are okay we are specifying this inside the camera controller made it we have to initialize this thing here and I have to pass this camera pose over here so what is the logic uh, I wanted to implement that I created a new variable that is a is camera front which is a true because we are using the front camera so because of we are using the front camera we have to use the camera cameras zero okay so <clears throat> what I added that here if we are using the is camera front is true which we are using the front camera then the camera position will be zero otherwise the camera position will be one so we will use the rear camera so that is the idea so here after this code we also have to set the state like uh, its camera is true then we have to set the state that is camera front equal to is camera front okay and also we have to paste it just above this thing because when we click that then only we have to I uh, mean then only we have to set this camera front to false because we just clicked here and let me hit the save and let's see the changes if I will click here then you can see that the camera position I mean camera from the front is converted to the camera rear if I will again click then it will again convert from the rear to front which means it is working fine the only thing we have to do that we have to work on this transformation of this button like when we click then it will it 180 degree will be change or when we again click then it will again 180 degree change so here in an icon button in icon i'm going to use a new widget called transform dot rotate rotate here we have to provide the angle how much we wanted to rotate the icon like we wanted to rotate the icon like 180 degree so what i'm going to do that i'm going to create a new variable that will be a that will be a double type transform equal to pi so pi to use a pi we need to import dot dot math so with help of this pi we will 
setting the angle to 180 degree so here only on the transform we will provide this transform variable which we created and we are going to set the state of the transform because all the time we had to convert the transform to 180 degree so we have to add on a transform to pi only so we are adding the transform plus pi which means we are just rotating the icon to the 180 degree one thing i have to do like we just have to put the transform to zero instead of the pi because we are starting from the zero then we are rotating it from the 180 degree so if i will hit the save then you will see the action that what i am actually going to do like if i will click here then it will be 180 degree rotated and the uh, camera is now rear then again if i will click then it is again 180 degree rotated so that that's why i added this transform thing over here so it will rotate and we will get to know that we are clicking on the uh, we are flipping the camera so that was the basic idea so the purpose of this video now completed and uh, just one thing i wanted to ask that uh, if we go on a whatsapp then we have this kind of the thing like here we have uh, that will uh, side panel that will open the gallery thing so if you wanted to make i mean if you if you really interested that i add this feature too in this camera tab so please let me know okay so please let me know that should i ask that feature in this um, camera tab or not okay so thank you all happy coding don't forget to subscribe the channel and please like the video share the video to your friend that will really motivate me so please help me and grow this channel and also please watch the video at least for the 10 minute i mean i'm just asking all the people please watch the video at least for the 10 minute because right now i have to complete the uh, youtube watch hour like i have uh, 2600 uh, watch hour but i have to complete the 4000 watch hour then only the ad will come on my channel so it is really helpful if the ad will come so i will get some money from the youtube as of now i'm not getting anything from the youtube so it's request please watch the video daily at least for the 10 minutes so my youtube watch hour will be completed thank you all happy coding see you on the next video